Hello, and welcome back to this Trails of Cold Steel 3. Let's play with me at SLJRPG. In the last episode, we managed to make our way to Hamel, learnt a little bit about the sordid history from Agate, about what went down there. And we also saw Shirley and Jubilee there as well, deciding not to desecrate the grounds of the tragedy of the ruins of Hamel. We decided to fight outside after a well-fought battle between the five of us, including their robots and their dogs, we came to a standstill, which back up from the Ouroboros members into, in terms of the Star Ritter and also one of the uh, lieutenants of the Red Constellation Jaeger Corps came to Shirley and Jubilee's aid. However, the classmates of Class 7 came, along with Ash Carbide, in a, in a, uh, in a Mecha or a Panzer Soldant, as they're called in this universe came to view. As this all went down, we saw how they were truly were the essence of Class 7. Shirley has then come to here to say, the situation has warmed up, nice and warmed up. Let's see if it'll work. So let's see what it is. Whoa there, little Miss War Crime. Don't go getting any ideas. It's a good nickname. You seem like you might be a real monster, but I'm not just going to sit by and let you do whatever you want. <laughs> you seem fun. To be fair, I feel like there's some similarities between Ash and Even Shirley. Even though you're in a Panzer Soldat, you haven't let your guard down. <laughs> well, I'm told the armor's a bit thinner than a tank's. And thanks to your little lesson the other day, I know taking a shot from a Panzer Faust is no good. So thanks for that. Not planning on taking any hits from that crazy looking weapon of yours either. <laughs> oh, I bet Daddy would like you. He most probably would. Wonder if we can see him. But can you buzz off for now? Nice reference to a weapon. As it goes on. Why you? The hell? Behind me? Ah! Ash? A big bug looking mecha. What in the world? Is that another archaism? Aeon Type 2. Super Dreadnought. It's enormous. Looks even bigger than a Goliath. An Ion. We of course know Ions from Crossbell series of games. This is the newest model the machine Crossbell had during their bid for independence. There you go. The one that destroyed the entire 5th Armored Division. If you uh, if you can do anything, I highly recommend playing the Crossbell arc. And they're both out now in English, so that's cool. This is the thing a Selenim fought? How's it moving without a Septarian? Yay! It's a huge success! Now to see how many of its functions will work. Huh? There's only one person to call. Guess you're up, huh? Yeah. There's no way we can allow them to let this thing loose. Very well. I shall leave this to you. Looking forward to seeing him again. <gasps> Could it be? Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! We have to. In comes his theme. Acknowledged. Some Euro Techno for you. Slightly in the background. What the? Here we go. Ha, it's moving on its own. Dolphy, you want to jump on and run over those? Pablo's Scottish accent is fucking terrible. Uh, hey, <laughs> what's going on? I'm gonna have to look if he's actually Scottish, the voice actor. <laughs> Acknowledged. Indeed, it seems a powerful enemy has appeared. The students are there with them. You should all make your way there as well. <sighs> you can just hop on. Amazing! <laughs> so this is the power of the Chosen One's Knight. Mm. I'd heard stories. But seeing it firsthand is pretty crazy. I didn't expect it to have such mobility. Major Irving, Instructor Randolph. 
We should contact the RMP and the Provincial Army. Let's ask them to watch this place so we can all head to the scene. What? Huh. Roger that. Randolph's down, obviously. That's... Instructor Arene's... The Ashen Knight. It's been a while. Damn! It came flying here all the way from camp! It knows already. Oh, wow! So this is the Divine Knight I've heard so much about. Damn straight. It's here. But we planned for this, too. This is kind of what you wanted, right? Breen! Thelamar! That thing destroyed an entire armored division. Whatever you do, be careful. Yeah! Out comes the Tachi. This will be our first battle together in some time. Further, the opponent seems to be quite powerful. Yeah, I can sense a strange flow of power in it. It's different from a Panzer Soldat, or even a Divine Knight. Let's start by seeing what it can do. Acknowledged. Let's go. Reduce it Let's to 80%. So we're going to go for the arms in this stance. Boom. Let's go. When his hands are clasped over like this, we go for the body. That did not work this time. Geiger's hammer. Not it's fun. My turn. Once again, so this type, let's go for this one. Now. We take the follow up. I'm not going to try and do any restores or anything let's right go. now. My aim is simply to try and take this thing down as fast as possible and get it to 80%. Let's see the finisher though. Took a serious chunk out, that's what we like to see. I'm up. Right, let's see if the body can work this time. Yeah, it does. Now, Obviously, you take the follow up. Gargus Hammer once again it does take us to a lowish health. Power diminishing. But I am Use not worried too much about that for it's right now. now. We need to just it follow up. Me. As we reach 80%. Pretty impressive against that huge thing. However, it seems this foe is on a completely different level. It has unbelievable mass and armor, but it seems like that's not all. If only there was something we could do. Remember, you're connected to it. It's made of an alloy developed by the society, her delegate too. But it's How do you know that? that a blade made of Zemurian ore can't cut through it. Darn it! It's too much for him! There's no way he can beat that gigantic thing all by himself! That's it! Kurt! Damn it. Are you okay? Yeah, just got the wind knocked out of me. Since it wasn't a direct hit, the machine itself shouldn't be too damaged. Hate to say it, but I gotta leave it to you. What? So it seems. Are you going to? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Something's wrong. How can it be this hard? I heard these things had abnormal powers during the crossbell incident, but this is it another level. Here, there is a mysterious power flowing through the machine. Yeah, that's the that's the secret, really. Were we to break the flow somehow? Allow me to help. That voice. Kurt! Kurt, get back! This isn't the kind of opponent a Panzer Soldat I can handle! I know that, but I can't just stand by. Powers. This land means so much to me. I need to do whatever I can to protect it. And find my own path ahead. Please accept my help, and the Sword of the Vanders. Kurt! 
this is... Is this a combat link? It seems it is. The feeling... It's coming through the Arcus. Just like during the Civil War. No, it feels even stronger now. Even the students from the new Class 7. Whoa! The heck's going on? We'll talk later. Right now, we take this thing down. We need to determine what strange power is flowing through it and cut it off. Understood. Giggity goddamn. So, partners. New unique actions can be performed by combat partners through Valimar's power. We already knew this. Uh, one, one partner may be paired to each combat before the battle begins. So it used to be you could change this. Um... So these used to be able to be changed uh, and different EXs in battle, but I think we'll, we'll keep it with these guys, really. For now, this seems like a good idea. So we'll just confirm and use these. Okay. About unity attacks. Five Brave Points and I'm bouncing really out to use a unity attack. Put them together depending it's on your current turn. link partner, which is good. So we'll go for this one now. here. Now. Nicely done. We'll just do a follow-up because we want to do the unity attack. My turn. We can do rain slash, but we're not going to ultimately try and end up doing that, I don't think. Uh, okay. Cha. Nice, we get the thrust. We're just going to use the follow-up until we get to the Unites. Seems like the best idea. Giger's Hammer is going to hurt, but we'll take it. About partners. So, uh, partner with those in battle can use X-Arts. These partners will participate in order of the battle, directly acting the battle. Let's go. We can change these, but let's just see the X-Arts. Sonic Burst. Shadow Rise takes this guy's speed yeah. down, so let's do that first. Nicely done. It's my turn. Feels like the best course of action. Its arms are open, so we aim for this arm here. Nice. It's down. Take opening. the follow-up. My turn. Go for the uh, follow-up here. Get the thrust, and then we go for the unite. There, instructor. Got it. Uh, Mistral blade. Mistral Blade! Hit it a whole bunch. Take down the brake speed as well. Nicely done. Here I go. We'll take Gold Arrow. Nicely done, and take some his strength down, which is always good. Let's go! We'll take the body. That didn't work. Focus hammer is fine. For now. Very well. Arms out stretched. Okay. We aim for this other arm. It's down. Get the follow-up like attack. It's working. Let us push through. We'll heal up with your boy. I'm up. Aim for this guy. Nice with the now. slash. Get the follow up. Titan press. Ultimately, we are okay though. That is annoying. Honestly, I think the best course of action is to do a another gold arrow. We can take a stent down. It just means that it's less powerful in general. So even if this hiss hits Kurt, it's less of an issue. Something approaches. Three, okay, something. 
Good time for this arm. Now, an opening. My turn. Let's do a toilet blades. Why not? Nice. Let's go. I'm actually going to move up to Elliot. I'll do our XR of Resonant Beat. Give us some HP recovery each turn. Let's go. Which we get the break. It's my turn. Now. Get the follow up. Nicely done. Here I go. Let's swap you out and see what we can do. Bring Ash Combine in. And then bring in Exarts Unbrowned Rage. Yeah. Nicely done. Let's go. Ha. It's down. It's mine. Follow up attack. It's gonna get his break back now. It's my turn. Which perhaps would have been good. Sit. But we're it. Now. now I'm gonna do the unite again. Kurt. Understood. Get back. Uh, there. Starfall slash. This, of course, being something that we've already uh, we've already done. Kurt's one taking yeah. it down a fair amount. We're gonna I charge because we need the XP. Very well. Aim for the middle. Nicely done. Get the follow-up. He's going to do a Geiger's Hammer once again. It's my turn. Nice. Get the follow-up. World Ender Zyklops. Okay. Diminishing. Use of spirit charge advised. Spirit. spirit charge makes the most sense there. We'll aim for the middle once again. Now! An opening! Nicely done. Sure. Let's swap. We're bringing Altina in. Then do Shadow Rise. Yeah. The same as fees, but try and take out as much damage as we can. It's going to use a Geiger's hammer, which is okay. Very well. A rain slash. Uh, Heats down. And then unite it. There, instructor. Got it. Uh, there. Once again, to take out the Mecha. Get back! Mistral Blade! Nice to go. Behold the Vander style! So that's pretty successful. As Reen... Or Kurt, Yay, I think. I did it. Elliot gets a level up. I must continue to train. I did it. A bunch of people get their levels up. All these links are improving as well. Oh, yeah! Function shutdown confirmed. It seems the strange power has vanished. <laughs> they did it! <laughs> well done. Yeah, you worked well together. I'm glad. The new Class Seven's a good group. Yeah, they got some heads about them. What, what was that power? Hmm. So it seems the experiment is over. 
wasn't too bad for a first run, don't you think? <laughs> Not bad at all. Seems like the timing was good, too. Hold it right there, Shirley. Oh, Randy! <sighs> you came. Yeah, the others are on their way, too. Your playtime's over. Might as well give up now. Ugh, how cheeky. <laughs> I'm still a bit peckish, but I guess I'll just have to save it for another time. That's the fight I want to see. You'll come join the party next time, won't you? Jaeger King? What? The hell? Ah, so you noticed after all. He's gonna lose that shit. When did he? It's that guy! The symbol on their jackets. I see. So you are affiliated with them. Hmm. Trapmaster Zeno. Leonidas the Behemoth. Hey there! Long time no see, Black Rabbit. War God Jr. I believe it has been six years or so. Zephyr, what are you doing here? Wait, you're... Ha <laughs> ha, looks like we got all the movers and shakers in one spot. What are the odds? Indeed, of course, so, in theory, what we're told is that uh, the, this middle-aged man, the leader of Zephyr, is the one who killed Randy's father, the war god. Good to see you again, little missy. Sorry I couldn't be your opponent today. Well, the experiment's over, so whatever. But for real. <laughs> what are you still doing walking around? And both of them apparently perished, but it seems that is not the case necessarily with the Jaeger King. I saw you and Uncle Balder kill each other with my own two eyes. <sighs> is that... Fee's adoptive father, who passed away three years ago. The boss of Zephyr? <laughs> Rutger Clausel, the Jaeger King. Yep, that's me. Name's Rutger. Rutger, nice sorry. to meet all of you fine young men and women. And Fee, glad to see you're doing well. Why? You died. We all made a grave. Zeno, Leo, what's going on? Well, it's not like we were trying to trick you or anything, you know? There's just a lot of complicated stuff going on right now. This is one of the reasons we disappeared after leaving you. Hmm. Also why we cooperated with Duke Cayenne and the Noble Alliance. It was at the request of our true employer. <gasps> Zephyr was hired to do more than just help the nobles during the Civil War? <gasps> you may still be a pipsqueak, but I can tell you've grown a lot. Being a bracer's still a bit on the shady side. Hell of a lot better than being a Jaeger, though, that's for sure. I'll need to remember to thank that purple lightning gal someday. Who is also a former Jaeger. Boss? It's really you. Why? How? What's going on? Looking for Sarah, huh? How about I just take you with me to the Bracer Guild? That way you can thank her in person. Heck, we can have ourselves a nice long chat while we're there. <laughs> it's kind of you to offer, young man. I think I'd rather not get involved with the guild, though. But hey, this job will take me here and there, so I'm sure I'll see you around. Mm. Boss! Th he jumped? That sound... Holy shit, is he a Divine Knight? Another enemy? <laughs> it 
it's fast! Kurt! Instructor Randolph! Got yes! It. I mean, goddamn, he decimated that thing. <laughs> Undeniably cool weapon. Clown Solace. This thing almost looks like a ghost, however. <laughs> Unbelievable. That looks like. That looks like. A purple divine knight. It definitely looks like a divine knight. <laughs> you sure weren't the war god's rival for nothing. Hey, play with me next time. Ha <laughs> ha you got it. Pete, Ashen Kid, see you next time. Later. You'd best be prepared for next time we meet. That is interesting. Hold it! Ugh, my word. How laid back can they possibly get? I mean, it's, that's the certainly the Fee way, so... <laughs> it seems we've got a worthy opponent. So there's a third faction in Indeed. this. Indeed! I eagerly await our next encounter. Now if you'll excuse us, Branch Campus, Bracers! Our reclamation of the Phantasmal Blaze Plan has only begun. And with it, the battle between us and them. Sit quietly in your crib as you watch. Is it going to turn out to be a growl switch or something? They disappeared! Some kind of transportation art. Um, I really don't know what to say. I think Reen's just gonna hug her. I'm glad you no. were able to meet your dad again. Yeah. Hmm. To bring back the boss? I didn't think Zeno and Leo meant what they said at the Infernal Castle so literally. Now I have a new goal. That's more than enough. I'm glad to hear it. Instructor Reen, everyone, are you all right? Nice! Looks like Class Seven's okay. Ash, what in the world were you thinking? Wait! Don't run ahead! We need to check the area first. They said it had only begun. We need to make sure we're ready. Yeah, all of us. Both the old Class Seven and the new Class Seven. Yeah, there needs to be some changes there. What a whole bunch of interesting stuff. Does this mean Ashes are going to join our class now? Trails of Cold Steel 3. Afterwards, the students from the branch campus arrived, and the post-mission work was taken care of. To make his students promise never speak of it, the story of what happened 14 years ago was shared with them. With Agate's help, the archasms were cleared out from the abandoned road. Also. I let it slide earlier, but you all ignored my explicit orders. I did tell you to decide among yourselves how to proceed, but I also told you your mission work was finished as of yesterday. <laughs> it's going in. Not to mention you went AWOL from training and stole a Panzer Soldat for unauthorized use. If you were actual soldiers, you'd be in front of a court martial right now. That's true. We have no rebuttal. This is all my fault. I will take full responsibility. I don't know if that's completely true. What? Hold up there! We're all responsible for this. Don't you think that's enough? 
We disobeyed orders all the time when we were students. Don't say this in front of them, Laura. Like when all those Panzer soldats came and attacked Thor's. <laughs> Instructor? I don't mean to justify our actions, but... I believe the saying is, what goes around comes around. This is a different matter entirely. As long as I'm your instructor, I can't overlook what you did. You were lucky this time, but next time might be different. Uh, that's... You're right. <laughs> your timing was spot on, though. Eh? You took advantage of the opening Ash's Panzer Soldat created to fend off the Stallrider. Then afterwards, you checked on Ash and quickly swapped out pilots. I'm impressed. Yeah, you did, they did well. I'd say you learned a lot from your classes and exercises. Oh. Oh, and Kurt, that assist was perfect. I could really see how much you've been developing your swordsmanship in your own unique way. Ah. Thank you. You got lost with Class 7 and just sort of ended up here? <laughs> Do you really think I'm dumb enough to believe that load? Nope. Man, doing field exercises in the great outdoors here sure is dangerous. Lots of twists and turns, you know? My bad. I'll be more careful next time. If it was just Class 7, it'd be one thing. But how did you guys even find out about this place anyway? Well, gotta get back to helping Class 8. See you later, Teach. Hey! Ugh, what is he thinking? Anyway, the Jaeger King could have sworn he died with my old man. Uh, the hell's going on here? This smell. The buildings. Ooh. <laughs> no doubt about it now. That day, 14 years ago. Maybe I can finally get some damn closure now. Is he from Hamel? Are those from them? Or maybe whatever happened in Hamel is related to the the ogre ring? Yes, from Estelle, Joshua, and Ren. Ren really seemed to like Louve a lot, so I made her promise before I left. I see. Hope the three of them can come here together one day. So ends the first round. Who the fuck are you, Muse? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, how will the board play out from here? Are you like Campanella in a wig? <laughs> Trails of Cold Steel 3. The next day. Camp, by the looks of it, has been dislodged. Laura, Fee, Elliot, thank you all so much. Indeed. You too, Agate. Ah, don't mention it. I'm just glad I was able to cover for Sarah. I got to go visit the place I wanted and even see the branch campus in action. Though I still feel it's a bit too dangerous to leave a certain someone here. I can't really blame you. Indeed. <laughs> Honestly, we've got no excuses. C come on, Agate! You don't need to worry about me. Stop treating me like a child. I mean, you're only 16. All right, all right. But you did fight off the... the you 
the whole bullshit liberal when you were 12, so... I admit, you're pretty good at getting yourself through a scrape. But the second crap really starts to hit the fan around here, I'm grabbing her and heading straight home. Hope you understand. Uh, I get... How bold. Pretty lovey-dovey, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, that's not it. I made a promise to her parents. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do make it Understood. weird. We'll do our best to make sure that doesn't have to happen. Uh, as her homeroom instructor, I'll help her out, too. Well, the same goes for me. This will be farewell for the time being. Not forever, though. Yeah, it's kind of sad to think that, though. We've each got our own goals. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Fee will work for the guild while she searches for Zephyr. Laura will travel to training halls across the country while searching for clues. I'll also try to look into things while I'm on tour. Yeah. Between what we heard at Drecknor Fortress and the other stuff that's happened, I've got a bad feeling. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'll let you all know if I find anything out. Yeah. Same here. Ouroboros is on the move again. And that gigantic ion. On top of that, the Red Constellation and Zephyr are active, too. Don't know where they got it, but that purple thing looked an awful lot like a Divine Knight. Yeah, it definitely was. Seems like they're fighting Ouroboros, too. Or rather, whoever hired them were the ones at odds with the society. My thought would be the church there, but I don't know. It would know. appear there's a connection we've yet to uncover. Or maybe the Black Workshop itself, but I know the Black uh, if there's a feud between the two. That's my other guess, maybe? Yeah. We should keep that in mind while we collect info. Or they're just doing it for themselves. Oh, amazing! <laughs> Dang. You guys put the guild to shame with teamwork like that. You got even more members than this in your group, right? Yep. <laughs> if you include Instructor Sarah, there are seven more of them. It's a fair amount. Man, compared to that... We still have a long way left to go. Seven more of them. We've got uh, Gaius, we got Eusis, we got Machias, we got Elisa. Uh, my brain is completely kaputting right now. Emma. You got Sarah. Toval? No. I do detect a difference in experience level. There's a lot. There's going to be some bullshit. Come on, guys. Don't worry oh, about million, that. Oh, of course. You saved us when we were in a pinch. You also backed Reen up with that Panzer Soldat. And don't forget, we all linked with each other. I am eager to see more of the Vander School's dual blade style, as well as your class's future accomplishments. As fellow members of Class 7, we'll be counting on you. Really? Fellow members. Understood. <laughs> Thanks. Please be careful, Agate. Promise me you won't push yourself too hard, like you did with the ancient dragon, okay? <laughs> Why are you bringing up old stories like that? <laughs> you be sure to look out for yourself, too. How much longer are you all going to chit-chat? It's time. We need to leave. Major Irvin, don't give no fuck. Simply class 7 is not just a class, it's a group. But chapter 1, reunion, to the end. Your rank has increased. We're at F5 minus now. Here's your reward. A true gladiator headband's always good. Our chapter results should the give us score. the top <laughs> score. Excellent. We'll take all of it. We received an update of the copy of the Black Records, Black Sacred 6. Thank you, gift from Vivi. Photo of Annabelle. Some fortune with droplets. June's bond not increased to one. June's bond. All increasing a little bit. Three for Elliot. Three for Laura. Three for Fee. And some special ops missions. But I think this is a good place to say. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on Trails of Cold Steel 3. Peace and love.